Hello and welcome to this edition of Awesome Stuff I Do. I just had this game on the ladder as a swarm and uh, just decided I needed to record it for posterity's sake because it was that awesome. Anytime you can take a Terran and take his pants down and then shoot him, it's a good day. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so this was a PVT I just played. Um, he early rushed me. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what to do about PVT yet in Heart of the Swarm. Tried a few things, um, but in this particular instance he uh, went three racks with just an early vanilla marine push. And I was going for Blink Stalkers. Um, and, uh, but anyways, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what to do about uh, PVT yet in Heart of the Swarm. I've tried a few things. Uh, I've tried a combination of uh, Gateway and Air, given that Protoss Air has been buffed a bit. Um, mostly utilizing Oracles for some harassment and some Void Rays with their auto charge up ability. Um, had sort of spotty success with that. Um, also tried All Air, which just does not work out that well, as uh, you'd expect against Terran with Marines. Uh, they're pretty good against. Void rays and all that. Uh, the other is just the old standby of High Templar. And you can see this is where I started to poop the bed a little bit as all these Marines started heading across the field. As I did not really have a whole lot yet. I just had one Stalker. Two were about to finish and my Warp Gate was about to finish. So I hurried the Warp Gate along and luckily these uh, two stalkers popped out and then I was able to get warp gate on enough to get two sentries out and to force field the ramp here to hold him back for <coughs> 20 seconds or so, however long the force field is. Right there, come on, and there it is. And uh, that held him back long enough to at least get one more warp in of stalkers, although I think I'm pretty sure I had no more than about three at a time. There's one more sentry I've roped in, but I kind of whipped this force field a bit as he was still able to get up the side. But, with the power of micro, I was able to save all three of these stalkers and kill almost all of his marines. Uh, I think I <coughs> whiff a little bit of the micro here. I grabbed a probe accidentally out of my gas. Um, and that guy did not need to die, but he did. That guy did not pulled back accidentally the full life stalker but alas it does not matter because micro is good and so are stalkers against only marines and a uh, nice spread there because he was coming up in clumps so at that point I pretty much knew now I just get the force stalker as uh, the push is done he had more reinforcements so we decided to pull back but the was able to keep me at three stalkers pretty well, um, but at this point I had a nice amount of money, so I decided to put down the expand because I'm sure he invested quite heavily in that push. As you can see, he's only left with eight marines, and uh, so I invested some of my money in expanding and getting some economy going. Uh, with my probe still here to scout anything that may come out, the intention of being getting blink, which is done at this point. Uh, I kind of like this scan because that showed him that I was here still, so I'm um, not sure if that made him feel comfy. He didn't build any bunkers or anything, so he maybe didn't feel too terribly uncomfortable. Also put down the second gas and a factory. Instead of making a lot more units, you can see his production is zero at the moment. Uh, so, <coughs> and I put down the robo to get an observer so I could do the blink. I missed this SCV on this tower though, that would have been a little bit better if I could have caught that because as I saw him, he saw me coming across. Um, but nevertheless, I put a pylon down here for warp ends and also a pylon up here both to spot for this expansion and to provide closer warp ends because my goal here is to just kind of poke up uh, and with the goal of letting him know that I'm here, but not losing too much. I lost one stalker there, uh, but was able to get everything else out and didn't even take too much hull damage except on these two. Um, and I think actually that one had previous damage because it still has shields left. Um, so my intention here was to just kind of 
have a presence at the front until my observer could come out, which is being made right now. Um, just to keep him to stay put. He, obviously he doesn't have his starport up yet, which he's just putting down now since the factory's done with the reactor. I'm assuming he's going to make some mines, uh, widow mines. Um, but at this point, he's still stuck on one base. He's rocking a huge bank account. I'm sure he would like to expand. But <clears throat> with this group of stalkers here, it's a little difficult for him because he doesn't... I, I think this army would probably be taken out fairly easily with the group of stalkers I have and with Blink. But uh, So I'm trying to keep my money down, and I forgot to put guys in gas here right away. Um, but just trying to get my expansion up, get my main base saturated, which it's close, and come up here and try and take out a few workers. Um, took him a good few seconds to respond, which was helpful. Um, I kind of whipped the blink a little bit here. My goal was to come over here and just kind of blink a couple out at a time. Um, but it turned out okay because I was able to kill most of the Marines. And I think I only lost about four stalkers. The unit's lost is fairly even still at this point, which is good for me because I've got way more income. Almost two thirds the income that he does, and he's not spending his, and I'm spending mine. <clears throat> but at that point, put down uh, some Colossus tech. I knew he was I was still with us there. He was not able to expand, and I was pretty mobile with these blank stalkers, taking out his uh, scouting factory. I knew he wasn't going tech. Turns out that reactor was for medevacs, and uh, I see my energy is getting a little high. Um, the nexus here. By a little high, I mean maximum high. But I put down the two forges to get upgrades and spend the chrono boost on that. But the pretty much just wanted to get two colossus with one one and a couple more gateways and just keep poking a little bit to see what's there. Took out a supply depot. Didn't really supply block him. Actually, he ended up supply blocking me by taking out my pylon. But it still just kind of held him back a little bit. I think he gets up to about six medevacs and then pushes out still does not have the expand <clears throat> um, at that point I got one Colossus second Colossus just comes out one one is half done uh, so he's going to come up and push the front but it doesn't I send that guy down to the spot where they were so I could separate my guys appropriately um, but I went ahead and decided to push this because I knew with Blink and the Colossus I could uh, do some damage up front and then also once he starts to retreat, which I figured he would, then I could chase him down with the Blink and kill most of his army, which all he has left besides that is these few guys in his, in his main. And 1-1 one, one is about to finish. Not the best timing because it's at the end of the battle, but it doesn't matter because I killed everything he had. So the two extra gateways are here just opening and I had a another Colossus coming but I just decided to go ahead and go for it um, again given that I took out most of his army and I was pretty sure he didn't have a lot left so I'm just using the Colossus to get vision up on the cliff blink up and uh, pretty much able to just secure the win pretty easily but the, the beautiful thing was uh, to hold off in the beginning because I was 100% sure that I was dead when I saw those marines coming in. And just for the sake of just for the sake of doing it, I'm going to go back to that part again because I really like that part. Go ahead and skip ahead a bit. Gather the troops. Three stalkers. First century dedicated his life to the cause. Marines. 
It's too bad Terran doesn't have Warhounds or something. They'd be a whole lot better. Maybe separate a little too far there, but I just didn't want these guys. I probably should have left them back a little bit longer because that really kind of makes me mad that I lost these and that I pulled back the full health one rather than the other one because that's just silly. But like I said before, it didn't matter. It's just awesome. That's where he decides to cut his losses and pull back. And that's it. Thanks for watching. You enjoyed.